is Rukadowski of WeAreChange.org here in Curaçao, a kind of weird, pretty interesting island, a Dutch colony that is off the coast of Colombia. And in this particular video, we're going to be doing something different. Instead of just talking about the latest breaking news, I kind of wanted to give a recap of all the news that's happening that's actually pretty incredible, pretty amazing. We're going to do it in a different style than we usually do it. We're going to do it. Uh, with Jeff Berwick, the dollar vigilante. He usually does videos on his channel where he just kind of walks and talks, which we're gonna do as we're gonna show you this weird island. At the end of the video, we're gonna explain what we're doing here. But first of all, Jeff, I think what's happening now is absolutely astonishing where almost every day, a major scandal gets exposed. A major truth gets told to the general public out there. Just this week alone, ABC News, got caught red-handed, faking, staging a supposed slaughter of the Kurds, trying to justify the U.S. government being in foreign entanglements in the Middle East, exposed using uh, a training drill, using uh, just footage that was absolutely not from northern Syria as a way to try to sell you this kind of bigger emotional plea. CNN got exposed by Project Veritas with them pushing this nauseating just, I, I can't stand hearing about impeachment because if you've been watching our channel, we do criticize the president, but on legitimate issues. And a lot of this bigger impeachment talk is just, not just nauseating, but just absolutely ridiculous. Mark's, uh, you know, CNN, the, the higher levels of CNN were just caught red-handed pushing that narrative. LeBron James and the NBA and any other corporation <laughs> just got totally, totally exposed for caring about money. Meanwhile, they rally on about social justice warrior, gone confiscation, supposedly LeBron James saying that an injustice to anyone is an injustice to everyone, but not if he's uh, not making his uh, Chinese money. Not if Nike uh, can't produce, uh, you know, those $4 shoes that they resell to you with the psychological propaganda <laughs> that they convince you that are somehow worth $200, $300, $400. I don't understand why. It always bothered me. Uh, I don't know about you, but it bothered me specifically when I see people literally spending hundreds of dollars on shoes that I now just came from China <laughs> or Vietnam. There was also a big controversy with Nike previously before with them using kind of slave labor. You know, you know, issues like that finally are coming to a head. Ideas of freedom, ideas of sovereignty, ideas of anti-government ideas even though they're with china mainly in the mainstream media now they're they're like that for a specific reason but at least these ideas are being discussed and i would say i don't know about you i don't know if you agree or disagree we're going into a day and age where if you do something bad everyone's going to know about it and i think that's progressing towards something really amazing and we're gonna i'm gonna explain that but what do you think what's your analysis of everything that you're seeing yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of great stuff going on. There's a lot of bad stuff going on, too. This is a really interesting time. Uh, you know, I think it all started with the Internet, right? Before the Internet, the what you would call the globalists or the you know, the central bankers, the banksters, the, the people who have basically been controlling this world for, for centuries, they had total control. They owned all the media. And we saw through, what was it, Operation Paperclip about how it's basically all CIA. So it's all propaganda in, in the US. Every other country is the same. China has its own propaganda, that sort of a thing. Uh, but until the internet, they had total control about what people knew about or what people could see. And now uh, everyone has the ability to kind of uh, get information out there. Now, of course, they're trying to censor incredibly people like yourselves uh, and if you guys don't know and if you like we are change definitely go and donate uh, because Luke basically he sleeps on my couch a lot <laughs> I'd like if he could get a hotel room um, of his own but uh, they're, they're really trying to censor and so people just need to keep going and keep exposing things and and it took a while I was actually surprised it really took I thought this would have happened 10 or 15 years ago but it's happening now that almost everything is getting exposed for what it is, which is great. We've known the, the war propaganda for decades and decades and decades, going back to World War I, and even before that, was all propaganda. And we knew that. We know that now, thanks to the Internet, we have the ability to look into things. But most people didn't. But now people are starting to see. We even saw with that Syria gas attack by Assad a few years ago. 
That was the U.S. trying the U.S. terrorist organization out of the Pentagram. I don't know if anyone notices it's Pentagram, uh, the Department of Offense, trying to get in there and kill people for money. Yeah, and none of it worked. This is the incredible thing, and I think we're really approaching a time that, again, this is mainly a part of the internet. Now, of course, there's many powerful people trying to squash down the internet, but I still remember, it wasn't like the Iraq war. I remember growing up during the Iraq war, uh, the mainstream media dominated. They controlled every aspect of speech, of thought, of control, and that's how the elites kind of liked it. They like knowing that, oh yeah, all you need is a few conglomerates, and all, <laughs> you have control of almost 90% of everything that people see and hear. We're living in a day and age where, where people are, are waking up to all of this and saying, hey, uh, you know, uh, there's a lot of lies out there. And I think this is why the Syrian war didn't work because it followed the same protocols as did the Iraq war. You know, they have chemical weapons, right? Again, in Iraq, they actually uh, were sold chemical weapons by the United States that they used against the Kurds that the United States knew about because Saddam was actually a good guy for the United States when he worked in favor of American foreign policy. There's so many little truths that you're being denied. And finally, I would say proverbially, the kind of blindfold on the American public and the public of the world is finally being lifted. And I don't know about you, but every time I meet people, I mean, you know, I've been meeting people here, a lot of them are like, oh yeah, yeah, the government lies. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the media lies. You can't trust anything they say. And it's happening more and more than ever. Yeah, it really is. Uh, again, I, I, I'm surprised it took this long, but uh, you know, you were so involved in exposing 9-11, which still to this day, it's like, come on. It, is there one person out there who doesn't know it was an inside job now? And, you know, in 2004, 2005, I actually was watching what you were doing. I didn't even know you back then. And I was a huge fan of yours. And uh, I was like, oh, my God, they totally lied about all this stuff. I didn't even know. And I'd go to cocktail parties and let's say there's 10 people standing around and I'd bring up, you know, it's not what they said it was on the news. Right. And everyone would look at me like I was crazy. This is like 2005, 2006. Now, if I go anywhere in the world and there's 10 people and I bring up 9-11, everyone's like inside job, inside job. So they're, they're, I don't know why it took this long, but it's great. It, finally, people are starting to wake up to what's going on. Well, a lot of people are just simply being like, hey, uh, they keep lying about everything else. I mean, look at look at ABC. Look how just blatantly they thought they could get away with this. The the hubris, the arrogance, and it's really that kind of arrogance and hubris that's going to bring them down. And they have a lot of it. Uh, and it's really just coming coming right in their face. I don't know what LeBron James was thinking. Uh, I don't know what, what he was. Uh, Money. Yeah, yeah uh, he wasn't thinking. Uh, Clearly, it's totally ignorant about the situation, not knowing what's happen, happening with the Uyghurs in China, telling people like, you can't say free Hong Kong. You can't express this idea. It's going to hurt other people uh, financially, emotionally, spiritually. Shut away. What are you doing? You, you, you ingrate. Like, like you just, come on. Yeah, I mean, I, and this is the thing. Like, he made a whole documentary about the, the, the whole shut up and dribble part, which was absolutely ridiculous because... Uh, you know, obviously he's very politically involved, but but he's he's finally facing some real ramifications uh, for, again, not caring, not being genuine, not being real. And it's being slapped up upside his head with the reality of people responding like, hey, uh, <laughs> you say you're, you're for all these things, but you're really just for yourself. And I think this is another thing that I kind of wanted to kind of crescendo and end this kind of bigger video on is this kind of war on perception because it still could go either way. There is a mass awakening in my opinion, but a big part of this mass awakening is also perception. So if you think everyone's dumb, if you think everyone's stupid, if you think everyone's brainwashed, uh, that's the reality that you're not only going to be creating, but that's the reality that you're going to be living a kind of hopeless one. And there is a kind of bigger agenda to sell you these kind of ideas. Uh, but I believe as a humanity, as a civilization, we're waking up faster than ever. And there's real potential to seriously switch things up. And already they're being switched up in so many massive ways. I mean, we landed here in uh, Curacao, which is again, small remote island. There's barely anyone here, as you can see all around me. Uh, and then what's playing at the airport? CNN, CNN, CNN. <laughs> that counts as a viewer. That's why I just see it in news. And, 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 you know, they have the ratings, like, look how many people watch us. Literally, we're the only ones at the airport. <laughs> CNN's blasting on the TV screens, but then they have the, the, the fake ratings. Like, look how many people watch us. No, 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 no. Not many people are watching you at all. Many people are calling you out for, for who you really are. Um, 
and it's the perception that is the biggest war that I believe is happening right now because if you believe you're hopeless, if you believe your fellow man's stupid, uh, you're not gonna be able to achieve anything that is uh, responsible for yourself, that is going to give you some kind of liberty, that is gonna give you some kind of sovereignty, some kind of freedom away from the things in society that are traps uh, that take away all of that from you. Uh, so we have to understand consciously uh, there's also a bigger kind of war against independent media because independent media exposes a lot of this stuff. You know, Project Veritas exposes uh, a lot of the corruption of the inner dealings. Sure, they do, do it on one political side, but uh, it's far way beyond that. It was just some random guy on the internet that found uh, the footage of, uh, what was it? Um, not a training exercise, but the footage of, um, of, of the, that, that was faked by ABC. It was a random guy that just found it. It went absolutely viral and a lot of people who profit off suffering and misery and, and taking advantage of you and are doing the wrong things they're fighting tooth and nail right now so they don't get exposed there's a lot of lies out there there's a lot of manipulations out there and it's being called out more than ever and it's about understanding independent diversified decentralized voices are more important than ever and think and i think this is why we're facing such censorship i mean we're losing hundreds of subscribers i just decided to do the james corbett model james corbett by the way will be speaking at anarchapoco this year uh, we're going to talk about that in just a little bit uh but james corbett has a different kind of mentality where he's like you know i don't care uh i don't care about the viewers i don't care about the subscribers i'm going to do what i love and i love doing this i love researching I love learning, I love traveling, I love studying, so I'm just gonna keep doing this no matter the view count, which could be, by the way, manipulated. I'm gonna keep doing this no matter how many hundreds of people are unsubscribed to my channel, and I'm gonna figure out a different way to do this. Uh, and uh, you know, one person that has been teaching me how to do this is, is Jeff. Um, and again, James Corbett, me, Jeff, will be speaking at Anarchapoco. Uh, if you wanna go to that event, promo code WRC. But other than that, anything else on this kind of larger topic that I kind of just delved in in this video that you want to say? Yeah, well, I would say that uh, one, I just did a video on this, by the way, if you check out the Dar Vigilante channel in a day or two, it takes me a while to upload, but I'm not as quick as, as fast as Luke. But uh, talking about how all it really takes, um, you know, there's a number of sayings. One is that all it takes for evil to succeed is for good men to do nothing. And there's also another saying from Gandalf in Lord of the Rings, which was written by an anarchist, J.R. Tolkien. And it goes along the lines of all it really takes to overcome evil is the small little things in life. And, and what it really means is that if everyone out there just did what they believe and actually knew they had the power. So this guy who put up the ABC video, he changed a lot of things and he just he found it and he put it up. Uh, all it really takes is little things like even just liking this video, sharing this video. Uh, if you want people to wake up, that you could just like sit there and hit like and share and you've just helped change the world. If everyone did that, uh, we would have a massive change in this world and also taking action. And this is why I like the LeBron situation, because he obviously did it because he was told by his bosses that if he, he had to do it. He didn't believe it. He was he actually believed, uh, as far as I understand, that, you know, free Hong Kong. And so if everyone out there who's a basketball fan, go to your teams, say you're going to not come to the games anymore unless he apologizes for apologizing. <laughs> if a thousand people start tweeting that to the NBA, they will change. Yeah. And that's all it takes. And you're called We Are Change. It's up to every ind individual to do these small little things. And they all add up and change the world dramatically. Yeah. I mean, this is why the NBA flip flopped. They had a very strong uh, kind of statement. And it was looking like they were going to fire uh, the GM of the Houston Rockets that sent out that free Hong Kong tweet that he later deleted. But then they saw the flashback of all the people in the United States being like, wait, 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 hold on. You're going to get someone in trouble? You guys are, are you know, like what kind of duplicitous hypocritical nature uh, are you as an organization to stand up against supposedly the evils of guns, to stand up uh, against Republicans, but, but uh, you won't stand up against uh, China? How does that make sense at all? It doesn't. Uh, and it's exposing a lot of the bigger lies in our society that are being exposed quicker every single day. And it's amazing and it's a beautiful time to be alive. And the people who speak about it the most are, of course, attacked the most, but that's part of this life. And that's why we're here. That's why we're called We Are Change. That's why we're going to keep striving and pushing and working uh, towards a better future. And it starts with just small micro actions. Uh, it starts with learning, educating yourself, uh, and, and putting yourself 
in situations where you could push this information forward and and open people's eyes to the reality of the situation because it's a lot different than the one painted to you by, of course, the mainstream media, which is losing their power, is losing their grips. We're seeing their censorship efforts against us and many other independent creators as a last ditch effort to try to get their power and control back. And guess what? It's not going to work. Stupidly optimistic. If you disagree with me, let me know why in the comment section below. Definitely check out uh, Anarchapoco, promo code WRC for 10% off your tickets of an event you don't want to miss. Ron Paul is going to be there this year as well. Uh, incredible, incredible events. Uh, special speakers are also going to be there that we can't talk about publicly yet. Uh, but trust me, this is going to be an event that you don't want to miss. We're here in uh, Curacao. Uh, randomly because our friend Joby Weeks his, his other friend counseled on us he was like hey I got some room yeah 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 <laughs> we just turned around he's like hey I uh, got some room uh, come on by and uh, hop around with us and me and Jeff were like given less than 24 hours and I was like okay yeah, sure. So stay tuned for our adventures. Definitely check out the Dollar Vigilante's YouTube channel. His link to his channel will be in the description below. And thank you once again for being a part of this independent media organization. Liking, sharing, subscribing means the world to us. Even just a single dollar. If ever, even every subscriber did that, the world would be, oh, holy cow, an incredible place. It's already an incredible place. It's getting better. And it's getting better because of the small actions that we're all taking. Stay tuned for more here on WeAreChange.org.